This presentation is called The Big Boom in Human Population. If we go back 50,000 years ago, which seems like a long time, but it's only 2,000 generations. So if you think of your mother and her mother and her mother, that's roughly 2,000 grandmothers ago. Somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 years ago, humans flirted with extinction, and the human population that's ancestral to everyone alive today was reduced to a small population in what's called a bottleneck. And at some point, we were down to as few as 10,000 humans of the species Homo sapiens sapiens. After 50,000 years ago, humans started to expand quite rapidly beyond Sub-Saharan Africa into Europe and East Asia and Australia and the Americas. And this is sometimes called the Great Migration. And a question that's interesting is how much did the human population expand in the course of this Great Migration over 40,000 years from 50,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago. So if we go back just 10,000 years ago to the beginning of what's called the Holocene, which is the most recent interstadial, that means we're in a period between ice ages, it's relatively warm and the Holocene is also relatively stable. That's about 400 generations or 400 grandmas ago. And by 10,000 years ago, every human is still making their living as a hunter-gatherer. And the global population with all of the major continents occupied, except of course Antarctica, has grown to 10 million people. But then a more dramatic change occurs, and this is the Neolithic Revolution, which means the invention of agriculture, and in the old world, the development of livelihoods based on domesticated livestock. And this brings about a great surge in population growth. 8,000 years ago, by the year 81 on the Western calendar, the global population has reached somewhere around 300 million people, and then it oscillates up and down over the coming centuries. And by AD 1300, the global population is 500 million people, or half a billion. And of course, this period is marked by the rise and fall of the classic agrarian empires, such as the Aztec Empire in Mesoamerica or the Roman Empire around the Mediterranean. The next surge in human population growth comes with what economic historians call proto-industrialism. And this was primarily a Eurasian phenomenon it included the development of canals and water wheels and windmills. So the addition of new kinds of energy based on wind power and water power and biomass. And as this period was coming to an end around 1800, the human population reached for the first time 1 billion people. And the estimates are that we reached 1 billion people somewhere around the year 1820. So if we think back and say, well, it was roughly 500 million people around 1300, this means it took about five centuries for the human population to expand from half a billion to a billion people. And if that rate of growth had continued, we'd still have less than 2 billion people today. 
But coincident with the development of fossil fuel industrialism, we've seen a tremendous acceleration in human population growth. So if in 1820 we reached a billion people for the first time, we reached 2 billion by 1920. And that means it took about a century for the human population to double again. And the question is, well then, did we reach or when did we reach 4 billion? Have we reached it yet? And yes, we have somewhere around uh, the mid 1970s, but roughly half a century after we reached 2 billion, the human population reached 4 billion. And so without fudging too much, we can say that it required 50 years for the global population to double. And it's around this time in the late 1960s, early 1970s, the scientists start to become aware of the rate of human population growth and the history of human population. And books like this one by Paul Ehrlich are published, predicting imminent catastrophe because of the exploding human population. And you might say, well, when did we reach 8 billion? Or have we already gotten there? Well, the answer is we're getting there. So if we drop back to 1960, that's a good estimate for when we reach 3 billion people. We added another billion by 1974 in about 14 years. 13 years later, we were at 5 billion. And around 1999, 12 years after that, the human population reached 6 billion. So if we look at that, that's about 40 years to double between 1960 and the year 2000. And we can see that the rate of population increase is itself increasing. By 2012, we'd reached 7 billion, and we're creeping forward towards 8 billion. So how many people can the planet hold? At what point do we say that humans have overstretched? And how many people will there be by 2025? The low estimate is that growth is slowing down quite quickly and that we'll top out around 8 billion people in 2025 and that will be the high point of what some call the great population spike. Others estimate that it will top out a little higher at 12 billion people by 2025 or a little after. How high we go depends upon how quickly the rate of population growth declines and whether or not we indeed reach the maximum carrying capacity. But a couple things are clear just from examining this. And the first is that billions more humans are alive today than ever were alive in the past. And this means that our social systems are quite different as are our settlement patterns. And secondly, it appears quite obvious that growth cannot continue indefinitely. And indeed, it looks like it won't continue indefinitely for reasons we're going to examine in the next presentation. Thank you for listening.